welcome everyone to this week's episode of What's New on Batuu, where we showcase what Star Wars lightsabers are available on Walt Disney World property. This week we're going to visit both stores at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and also visit Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to check in on Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities to see what legacy lightsabers Doc has for us this week. Plus, we're going to stop at Savi's Workshop to check out the third set of new scrap metal that arrived on planet. But first, consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like on this video, and make sure your notification bell is rung so you're all set for your Friday updates. Our first stop on this beautiful sunny afternoon, Keystone Clothiers. Let's head inside and see what black box legacy lightsabers they have for sale here. Five different Star Wars black box legacy lightsabers to choose from. They have Darth Vader, Mace Windu, Skywalker, the Dark Saber, and Obi Wan Kenobi. Each Star Wars black box legacy lightsaber is priced at two forty nine ninety nine. Let's check out the toy lightsabers. They have the Star Wars Jedi Mickey toy lightsaber, priced at $19.99. Four different Jedi toy FX lightsabers, along with Kylo Ren and Darth Vader's toy FX lightsabers, each priced at $39.99. The Jedi Training Academy toy lightsabers are in stock, priced at $16.99. And finally, Ezra Bridger's Star Wars Rebels toy lightsaber, priced at $29.99. That's going to wrap up our visit to Keystone Clothiers this week. Before we head to stop number two, let's head down to Star Wars Launch Bay and see if they've made any progress on the Launch Bay cargo shop. The store is still closed. We'll check in here periodically to see if they make any progress and if it looks like it'll reopen anytime soon. The last store we're going to check out before we head on planet, Tatooine Traders. Let's head inside and see what their lightsaber assortment looks like this week. Just like Keystone Clothiers, the same five Star Wars black box legacy lightsabers are available here. They have the dark saber. Darth Vader, Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Mace Windu. Let's take a look at the toy lightsaber assortment. They have six different toy FX lightsabers, along with the Ahsoka Tano lightsaber set. We want to show you something really cool that we just learned about the Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Mace Windu toy FX lightsaber. The blades are removable, so now you have the option to just wear the hilt on your belt. The last thing we want to showcase here at Tatooine Traders, choose your destiny. Build your own custom toy lightsaber. You have so many options to choose from, and they are priced at $29.99 for a single blade lightsaber and $44.99 for a double blade lightsaber. That's going to do it for our visit this week to Tatooine Traders. And every lightsaber available here at Disney's Hollywood Studios off-planet. Now, let's head on planet to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and visit Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. We're going to take a look at the Holocron wall, see what color kyber crystals are in stock, see what legacy lightsaber hilts Doc has for sale. But first, we're going to visit... Savi's Workshop to take a look at the third set of all new scrap metal that arrived on planet this week. Here's a look at the current scrap metal menu. We've already showcased the new Peace and Justice and Power and Control scrap metal. So let's take a closer look at the brand new Protection and Defense. Two new emitters, four new sleeves, two new sets of switches, and two new end caps. 
Elemental nature should arrive on planet at some point, so look for that in an upcoming episode. Before we leave Sabi's, let's take a look at a few hilt examples that cast members built from the new scrap metal sets. First we have power and control. Next we have two hilts built with peace and justice scrap metal. And finally, a detailed look at two hilts built with protection and defense scrap metal. Okay, time to head into Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities to take a look at all the legacy lightsaber hilts available this week. But first, let's make a stop at the Holocron Wall. Starting on the Jedi side, they have the green, blue, and yellow kyber crystals available, and down here purple, green with the copper top, and white. The Jedi Holocron is in stock, and it is priced at $49.99. Moving over to the Sith side, they have the red kyber crystals with the silver top available, that's the one you want to purchase if you're hunting the black kyber crystal. And down here, red with the copper top is also available. The Sith Holocron is in stock, and it is priced at $49.99. Legacy lightsaber time. First up, Princess Leia's legacy lightsaber, $169.99. Plo Koon, $169.99. Luminara, $169.99 and Darth Sidious priced at $169.99 as well. These four legacy lightsaber hilts are still 30% off. Moving on to Cal Kestis legacy lightsaber $169.99 Darth Vader's legacy lightsaber $159.99 Darth Maul $169.99. Next up, Shadow Mall. The Shadow Mall Legacy Lightsaber, $169.99. And then we have Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, $179.99. Then we have Darth Tyrannus, $159.99. And then we have Count Dooku. $169.99 Anakin's Legacy Lightsaber $159.99 Obi-Wan Kenobi $169.99 Moving on to Luke Skywalker $169.99 And then we have Rey Skywalker $159.99 Next up, Reforge Skywalker, priced at $159.99. Ahsoka's pair of lightsabers, priced at $249.99 for the pair. And rounding out the front of the case, Qui-Gon, priced at $169.99. Moving to the top of the case, the dark sabers in stock and priced at $249.99. Here is a final look at all 19 Star Wars Legacy lightsaber hilts currently available at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Batu East. Thanks so much for watching this week, and on your way out, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always know what's new on Batu. Live in the magic. See you next week.